Dear friends, very big welcome. I really miss talking to you guys. As promised three months ago, I will proceed with the mega follow stage shootouts and reviews for the month of September and October. And I would like to hereby happily announce that this series of mega phono stage shootouts and reviews will comprise not just six, but eight phono stages in all. Also, a big thank you to all of you friends for your patience as the past two months hiatus and break from reviewing kits and equipments allowed me to focus on the Japan trip, more family time, DCLT with friends to and fro all over the world, and meeting, chatting, and helping new vinyl files on how to get in, stay in, and enjoy great and affordable vinyl music playback. Now, let me proudly introduce this octet of phono stages. They are from Austria, the Project Phonobox S, from the UK, the Cambridge Audio 651P, the Gramsci Grand Amp 2 Special Edition, the Riga Phono MM Mark II, and the Musical Fidelity V90 LPS. And lastly, from the US, the u Pluto, the Sheet Money, and the Emotiva XPS1. I managed to borrow three of them for my good friends, and for the other five, I paid for my wallet in full for them, just like the 12 cartridges in the previous shootout. For you friends, I feel it is worth it, and this is my sincere gift for all of you. All descriptions and comments regarding the phono stages sonic performances are made in comparison with one another and of course in reference to the class leaders. And I'd like to first apologize to the third performance tier of phono stages. The Gram 3 Gram Amp 2 SE ranks for me here within the third performance tier and I'm not shy to admit that it is one of the five phono stages that I paid with my own money earlier this year during the planning and preparation stage of this massive phono stage shootout and reviews. I've given the Gramsley the best conditions to perform, leaving it plugged in to the Hydra Triton and continuously switched on for a full 7 days as instructed by the Gramsley company in the instruction manual before seriously auditioning it and testing it against the other 7 competitors. Its base performance is easily the least desirable amongst this octet of phono stages Extension is poor. Having such curtailed bass extension would exempt it from handling the deepest bass registers, but still, the whatever, not so deep bass that comes out of it sounded gooey and uncontrolled. Very low fi Treble extension is also not good, sounding curtailed and soft, with cymbals sounding unrealistic. Guitars easily expose its average ability to handle detail and harmonics. However, this average harmonics portrayal is coupled with very limited dynamics, the impression of compression of everything audible within a very small and shy decibel range. The result? There is absolutely no oomph to music listening at all. 
music enjoyment really pales in comparison with the class leaders here, satisfaction is low. Mid-range Although there is no irritating upper mid-range brightness, nor vocal sibilance, vocals are let down by the earlier mentioned average portrayal of harmonics and a very limited dynamic range. Vocals start sounding rather drab. Seemingly disinterested showings by singers await you with this photo stage. money wasted by me buying this phono stage. So now that I've presented to you the findings, do avoid this phono stage. Not recommended. Thank you friends and vinyl fans. We catch up soon again with the next phono stage next week. See you and thank you.